Hello and welcome. I'm Yasmin Ahmed, lecturer at Dada Boy Institute of Higher Education. Today we are going to talk about a very important day that is World Bipolar Day, which is celebrated on 30th March across the globe. Dada Boy Institute of Higher Education, in collaboration with Science Literacy, is pleased to have information about bipolar disorder and biological markers. Bipolar disorder is a disease in which mood fluctuation is observed. The sufferer manifests mood elevation mania and depression interspersed with normal mood and it is known as euthymia. This episodic pattern varies among the individuals suffering with this disease. In general, depressive times are prolonged when compared with mood elevation. Depression is the cause of both morbidity and mortality. Let's talk about the paradigm shift in the treatment of bipolar disorder in recent times. The conventional diagnostics and treatments are usually based on cluster of symptoms rather than biological markers. Treatment options are based on non-targeted drugs identified by chance. The only significant development is change in the disease name from manic depression to bipolar disorder. In the recent time, several studies have provided genetic clues in the treatment of bipolar disorder. Despite of this, underlying biology is still unknown and heritable pattern is still questionable. Some of the disease associated pathological factors are oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, dopamine abnormalities, circadian rhythms, and dysfunctional brain connectivity. Recent development in digital technologies and molecular sciences has paved way for the treatment of bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder risks genes identification and phenotypic characterization of the disease. Merging technologies facilitating genomic characterization of the disease are genomics, neuroscience, and digital technologies. As a result of the development of digital technologies and molecular sciences, some intriguing studies have come forward. As far as genetic predisposition and bipolar disorder is concerned, a child born with either parent having bipolar disorder has tenfold higher chances of acquiring the disease. It can be either mother or father. Let's talk about Mendelian inheritance for bipolar disorder. No Mendelian inheritance is witnessed, which means that transmission of characteristics for parents to offspring is not there. This disease is not gene specific. Multiple susceptible loci has been identified by genome wide association studies. Now let us talk about the word loci. Loci is plural of locus and it defines the position of gene on a chromosome. In the previous slide, I have discussed the role of loci in bipolar disorder. Here, I am showing you loci and related genes. As you know that humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes and bipolar disease specific loci have been identified on chromosomes 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 17. There are variety of treatments available for bipolar disorder. They are prophylactic, such as sodium valparate, or pharmacological, such as antipsychotics, antidepressant, and antiepileptic. Beside these, we should never underestimate the importance of psychoeducation and psychological treatment for such patients. Now I will talk about future treatments and required research in bipolar disorder. The research is linking genetic information retrieved through genome-wide association studies with the disease phenotype. As there is enhanced intracellular calcium signaling observed in bipolar disorder, so the future treatments are focused on the development of L-type voltage-gated calcium channel VGCC antagonist. Thank you for your valuable time. Let's join hand together to help those who are suffering. 
This is a small initiative by Dada Boy Institute of Higher Education to let people know that we are together as a community.